The following program includes graphic images and mature subject matter intended for adult audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. Tonight on 16 by 9, a brutal gang rape. We will not have women being blamed for rape anymore. International outrage. Hang them! Hang them! And a rush to justice. And then, the gunning down of a president. He died of gunshot wound in the brain. Memories of the moment, 50 years later. Two shots closer together, bang, bang. I said, those are shots, stop the bus. And I saw people running up. Then they must be chasing a gunman. And a dip in the pool. Some people refer to us as underwater rockets like you've never seen before. Here's Carolyn Jarvis. Good evening and welcome to 16 by 9. It's a crime that cast a shadow over an entire nation. Almost a year ago in New Delhi, a young woman was brutally gang raped on a bus and later died. The worldwide outrage over the case led to speedy arrests and death sentences. But as Nisha Pahuja explains, it's a rush to justice that some say may have obscured the truth. New Delhi, India a bustling city of 17 million people living parallel lives. As the country lurches forward, the gods keep watch from above. On the evening of December 16, 2012, a series of events began to unfold that would, in many ways, reveal the struggles of a country at war with itself. Sola December it was a day, Sunday. We all have a day of life in the morning. We all have a day of tea, tea, tea. We all have a day of tea, 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 एक बजे घर से चले गए ड्यूटी। ऐसे 16 दिसंबर से पहले कुछ ना रहते हुए भी बहुत कुछ था। That was the day everything changed for Badri Singh, his wife and three children। सबसे बड़ी ये हमारी लड़की थी ज्योति। नहीं जाते तो घटना नहीं घटती लेकिन जाते कैसे नहीं जो विधाता की रचना है उसमें किसी का इंटरफेयर नहीं हो सकता समय को सोचते हैं तो बड़ा तकलीफ होते हैं क्या कहें After seeing a movie at this mall, Badri's daughter Jyoti and her boyfriend couldn't find a taxi to take them home, so they got on a bus. A fateful trip for her and as it would turn out, the entire country. Indian women are traditionally treated as second-class citizens from the time they're born. But that didn't happen in Jyoti's family. Our Badri and his wife sacrificed everything for their children. Unlike many Indian women, Jyoti not only had dreams, she was encouraged to chase them. Jyoti was studying to become a physiotherapist. She worked nights in a call center to pay for school. हाँ पढ़ाई ही उसको अच्छी लगती थी उसको उसका एक ही 
टारगेट था कि हमें पढ़ कर के डॉक्टर बनना है डॉक्टर बन कर के तो कई तरह का उसके दिमाग में बातें चलते थे कि हम डॉक्टर बन जाएंगे तो हम पापा को नौकरी नहीं करने देंगे इनकी व्यवस्था कर देंगे सेटल कर देंगे कि कोई दिक्कत ना हो ये पुस्तक जो है उसका बेस्ट फ्रेंड है क्योंकि उसको इस मंजिल तक पहुंचाने के लिए ये उसका साथ दिया है But for the independent young woman, destiny had something else in store. That night, Jyoti and her boyfriend got on the bus, joining six other passengers. What the young couple didn't realize is that those six passengers, all men, were part of the same group, watching. This is Ravidas camp, a slum in South Delhi. Four of the men on the bus that night lived here, including Champa Devi's son. His name was Vinay Sharma. बहुत अच्छा था वो हमारे लिए। मेरा बड़ा बेटा है। अच्छा। वो हमारे लिए यही कहते थे कि मम्मी, मैं थोड़ा बहुत कमाऊंगा। तो आम आदमी बनना चाहता था, अपना काम करता, अपना यही बोलता था छोर कहीं नौकरी करेंगे अपना घर चलाएंगे अपने बहनों को शादी करेंगे हम अपने गरीबी में उनको पढ़ाए हैं लिखाए हैं उनको अच्छी बुद्धि दिए हैं The group of men on the bus had robbed an unsuspecting passenger earlier that night After that they drove around looking for their next victim मेट्रो पर जाया जा सकता था मेट्रो ने इन्होंने चूज की इसलिए बस में चढ़ गए फिजिकल रिलेशन बनाने लगे लॉयर ए पी सिंह सेज इन इंडिया पब्लिक डिस्प्लेस ऑफ अफेक्शन और ग्रोस वायोलेशन ऑफ अ लॉन्ग स्टैंडिंग मॉरल कोड ही सेज द मैन बिकेम एंग्री दैट द कपल वाज गेटिंग इंटीमेट एट द बैक ऑफ द बस अ कॉन्फ्लिक्ट वाज इनेविटेबल ये क्या हो रहा है उनमें लड़ाई होने लगी जब उन्होंने मना किया नहीं करो ऐसा झगड़ा होने लगा हाँ बॉयफ्रेंड ने पहले मारा बॉयफ्रेंड ने पहले मारा तो झगड़ा होने लगा उसे झगड़ा होने लगा तो बात बढ़ गई द लाइट वन ऑफ ट्वेंटी थ्री ईयर ओल्ड ज्योति सिंह वॉज रेप्ड रिपीटेडली द मैन वायोलेटेड हर विद एन आयरन रॉड एंड लिटरली पुल्ड आउट हर इन टेस्टाइन विद देर बेयर हैंड इट वॉज अ क्राइम दैट वुड सून हैव द इंटायर कंट्री स्क्रीमिंग फॉर ब्लड Next, anger erupts over beating and gang rape in India. We will not consent to being put in the dock for rape. On the evening of December 16th, 2012, a young physiotherapist named Jyoti Singh was beaten and fatally gang raped on a bus in New Delhi. It was a brutal attack that quickly had the whole world transfixed. A young woman was allegedly gang raped in a moving bus in Delhi. 23-year-old victim is now in hospital where her condition is said to be critical. While Jyoti lay dying in hospital, outraged Indians took to the streets in protest. In a country where most rapes go unreported and unpunished, women had finally had enough. Long-time women's advocate Kavita Krishnan became the unofficial spokeswoman for the protesters. What I really feel is that it was in a way a dam bursting whereby there was a lot of accumulated anger and saying that we will not consent to being put in the dock for rape we will not have women being blamed for rape anymore Authorities struggled to contain the protesters 
the government needed to make an example. Their entire a sense of insecurity and anger against sexual violence, but also in terms of a larger insecurity vis-a-vis -vis their lives. All of that, I think, sort of came together, you know, to explode in this movement. Yeah. Jyoti's story was a watershed moment. Public pressure forced authorities to act, and only days after the attack, six men were arrested. Hang them! Hang them! Hang them! Students have gathered at the location where the incident took place. They've completely blocked off traffic. They're now demanding justice and saying enough is enough. Champa Devi's son Vinay was one of the men arrested. She watched those protests with a growing sense of dread. तो बच्चे बकरा हो गए हैं जुगी के बच्चे हैं ना इसीलिए बकरा हो गए हैं मेरे दिल में यही हो रहा था कि हमारी दुनिया में कोई अहमियत नहीं है हमारा ही कोई अहमियत नहीं है हम वही बन गए हैं कि जैसे अब इनका कोई वो नहीं है कि जैसे ये बच्चे अनाथ हो गए हैं जैसे इनको चाहे जो उन कर दो इनके साथ ज्योति बिकेम एन इंटरनेशनल सिंबल इन द स्ट्रगल फॉर वुमेंस राइट्स Yet her family chose not to tell her how important her story had become. The shame of rape would have been too much, but she didn't need to be told how close she was to death. ये तेरे बेटा हम आ गए हैं वहाँ ठीक है अच्छा सब ठीक हो जाएगा उसको मतलब दिलाता है दिलाता है लेकिन डॉक्टर जो आपस में बात करते थे तो इंग्लिश में करते थे तो हमलोग तो हिंदी भाषी समझ नहीं आता था लेकिन उसको सब समझ आता था तो उसको पता था उसने एक दिन कहा भी कि पापा आज लास्ट डे है आफ्टर अरेस्टिंग द सिक्स मैन फ्रॉम द बस द पुलिस पुट देम ऑन डिस्प्ले फॉर द मीडिया दे वर चार्ज ऑन जनवरी थर्ड All accused of belonging in this case are respectable but poor family. They have no power of money. They have no power of muscle. They have no power of any political. Number of member of parliament are involved with the cases of robbery, rape, kidnapping, murder. They are sitting in the parliament. Lawyer A.P. Singh represented Vinay Sharma. His client was one of five suspects tried in a special fast-track court beginning in February. कोई भी decision media के प्रभाव में नहीं होना चाहिए, sentiment से नहीं होना चाहिए, law पे होना चाहिए. और कितने cases चल रहे हैं? उसमें fast-track court नहीं है. Singh says he received death threats. Other lawyers wouldn't even represent the accused. Finally, the system had woken up. Women were being heard, but Singh says the price of that new awareness was truth. Janpat, jantar mantar, aur us par mombattiyan jala ke nahi milta hai. Naya naaron se nahi milta hai. Naya jhande bande se nahi milta hai. Naya OB band media ki laga dene se live telecast se naya nahi milta hai. Naya sachchai se milta hai. Next, questionable confessions. उनके शरीर पर चोट के निशान थे। वो जिंदा लाश हो चुके थे। And men sentenced to death. In the days after Jyoti Singh was fatally gang raped, angry protests erupted across India. A special fast track court was created, and only three months after the crime, India's parliament passed new laws allowing for the death penalty in rape cases. 
Every day, the courthouse was surrounded by demonstrators as prosecutors laid out their case. Vinay Sharma was one of the accused. His lawyer, A.P. Singh, says key evidence was tampered with and witnesses influenced. In his starting, Tom also said that there are four persons. And two times I raped. She, she said she, she was raped only two times by two persons. Then now, how can it possible? They involved six persons. All hanged till death, punished. In her first statement to police, Jyoti Singh said she'd been raped by two unidentified men. Several days later, after six suspects were arrested, police claimed Jyoti not only remembered being raped by all six men, she was also able to give them detailed descriptions of the suspects, including their names. After then, all things are corroborated. Name also came, description also came, identity also came, inner description of the bus also came, drunken also came, calling each other by name also, so each and everything are came. Jyoti's boyfriend told police he was beaten badly and passed in and out of consciousness after the lights went off in the bus. But somehow, according to police, he too was able to identify his attackers. How can I identify? How can I identify to any person if light is off? Singh suspects police told the victims what to say and beat confessions out of the accused. Unke sarir pe chot ke nishan the. Wo zinda lash ho chuke the. In Indian police are expert to obtain signature on blank papers. 16 by 9 was able to obtain a copy of the police file and confirm the confessions were identical. The words and the handwriting. All disclosure statement recorded by force after gave beatings in the police station and all confession statement are written by police and signature obtained on only blank papers. Singh also believes the police planted DNA evidence in order to build a stronger case. You can't have justice without truth, clearly. Kavita Krishnan has been fighting for women's rights for years, and even she is uncomfortable with how the trial unfolded. I would say that uh, the kind of uh, investigation that we have in our country, which largely relies on forced confessions and so on, that is something which never really gets us very far with the truth or with justice. In March, Ram Singh, the reputed leader of the rapists, was found dead in his cell. It was ruled a suicide, though the family suspected he was murdered. The one juvenile in the group was the first to be convicted. He was handed a three-year sentence in August. There's been an attempt to profile the perpetrators in this case in a certain way, saying that, oh, basically, uh, these rapes in Delhi and then a later case in Mumbai, these are being committed by slum dwellers, by migrants, you know, by outsiders. And I do feel that that led to the almost inevitability of the death penalty, which I certainly believe are unfair. In September, that inevitable happened. The four remaining accused were convicted and sentenced to execution by hanging. While Vinay spends his days behind the walls of notorious Tehar prison, his mother can only hope he will be spared.
इस घटना के बाद हमारी जिंदगी बिल्कुल उलट हो गई जैसे हम पूरब को जा रहे हैं बिल्कुल पश्चिम को हो गए इस परिवार की जिंदगी एकदम बिखर गई After Jyoti died, the government gave her family a new place to live. Ironically, in death, she was able to give what she had promised in life, but it means nothing to her father. तो जैसे फूल तो खिला हुआ है, लेकिन उसमें से खुशबू निकल गई। तो हम लोग की जिंदगी एक तरह से नीरस हो गई। And there is more to come from this case. Lawyers for all four condemned men have filed appeals, vowing to challenge the death sentences all the way to India's Supreme Court. We'll be right back.